time it is Tuesday and Perth day. I'm going to film like a day in the life kind of vlog. And wow, I've got glutamine on my lips. Also throwing what I eat today because you guys really liked my last what I eat in a day. So I feel like I should do another one. Um, but I'm up really, really early today because I have PT with Mandy. It was my birthday on the weekend, so I had a really big weekend. It wasn't that big, but I just drank a lot. Damn it. So, today I am wearing my little crop from my Lahana M. Davies collection. And these shorts are Gymshark. I added as trainers and this jacket is stacked, which is the activewear brand I was actually telling you guys about in my last vlog, which is one of my favorite brands right now. Guys, look, I'm matchy matchy. I got a new cape cup the other day and it is a Frank Green cape cup. Everyone on Instagram recommended it to me, but I am gonna go to PT now and I will see you guys after. All right, guys, so this is what my usual program look like, looks like. There's four days. So there's one upper body day. There's one conditioning day. And then, no, this is the conditioning day. And then the other two are leg days. So probably going to do this one today. So it's squats, leg curls, walking lunges, Nordic lowerings, hip thrusts, and reverse lunges. I will try and get Mandy to film some of it for you. All right, guys. So before I work out, if I'm doing legs, I always warm up my glutes. I'm going to show you how I do that. Hurt, but let me fucking tell you, it's really does, really does. It's really hard to get, especially when you're uncoordinated. Like that. <laughs> So stepping back. guys I think that's sweat yep that's sweat and I never sweat when I work out that's how hard that workout was <sighs> honestly all those exercises they look really easy but when you're doing them with a lot of weight they are absolutely not 
that's all I have to say. Oh my god, guys, that was actually a really hard session. I know I just said that, but that was really hard. I don't know if it's because I was drinking on the weekend for my birthday, but that was fucking hard. Uh, you guys always ask me whether I drink and stuff like that. Because, you know, I eat really healthy and all that sort of stuff. And absolutely I do. Like, we're only this age once and it's just like we're actually only on this planet once. Like, why live our life, you know, like, just not living our best life? That's how I see it. Like, life's all about balance. And if you... <clears throat> if you... I like... I say I like to follow like the 80-20 rule. So I like to be 80% of the time really healthy and um, good to my body and give my body what it needs. But then 20% of the time, if I want to party with my friends, if I want to eat junk food, if I want to just be a slob, I will, you know? Like I think that's a really good way to live too because if you are so strict on yourself you're not just burning out that's that's like I, I that's what i've learned anyways um like honestly that's just when i was like a couple of years ago like i used to honestly just like live and breathe following you know a diet and um a healthy routine and i would never like have a cheat meal and stuff i don't really have cheat meals anymore because if I'm craving something, I'll just eat it when I feel like it. But, um, you know, I would never sort of eat outside of that diet. And when I would, I'd get like anxiety from it and feel like, you know, I'm gonna like go backwards and stuff. But that's like not how it works at all. Like having it one day of eating bad or a couple of days of eat eating bad isn't gonna lose all of your progress. And sometimes it's actually good for your body. Like. When I was following my macros really strictly to a T with Mandy, I don't really follow macros anymore. I just eat, um, I just listen to my body and eat what I feel like eating. But um, when I was doing that, Mandy would put me on diet breaks and refeeds like um, every month or so. And that means, a so a diet break is where you sort of um, just completely stop dieting for a little bit and you eat whatever. Um, whereas a refeed is like, if you're following macros, you'll generally get a refeed of like a lot more carbs and a lot of protein and really minimal fats. This is just the way that Mandy did it for me. Um, don't hold me to this. This is just like my experience with it. And it sort of like resets your body and like resets your metabolism and sort of like, I don't know. But that's the thing, like you need to have those, if you're following macros, you need to have those little breaks every now and then. And you just need to enjoy life because at the end of the day, like, yeah, having abs is good and everything, but like if you're not living your best life and you're not enjoying life, then what is it really worth it? You know what I mean? Like I used to have like fucking chiseled abs and now I don't, but now I don't care because I'm honestly so happy and I've like reached this point in my life where I am just like so accepting of my body and I love my body and there's nothing on my body that I want to change because it's like... You know, you work so hard. When I was younger, I would work so hard to like look a certain way and everything like that. And when I would get to that point where I looked the way I was aiming to look, I would never see that and I would never stop and go, oh my God, I've just, you know, reached my goal because it would then move on to another goal and another thing of what I want to do, you know, like, yeah, I'd have abs and then I'd want to grow my booty and, you know, it would just, it's just like a cycle and it never ends. So, um, that's something that I've just learned with experience and age and everything like that. And now I am just, yeah, living my best life. I'm happy. Um, I feel good. I train because it makes me feel good. I'm not training to look a certain way. I eat whatever the hell I want and yeah, I'm loving life. So that's my little rant for the day. Sorry if it doesn't make sense. And I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a fucking PG. I'm not any of that. I'm just telling you guys my experience with all of this. So yeah, I guess I will see you guys when I get home, when I'm eating some food. Hey guys, I'm home from the gym and this is my post-workout smoothie. Oh my God, so freaking good. Um, it's the new 
you guys probably saw it in my last what i ate in a day it's the naked harvest protein this is not sponsored i literally just love it so much um the mango cheesecake flavor in a smoothie with frozen banana and almond milk and frozen mango oh my god it's so freaking good literally tastes like a dessert mm, so good so usually if i'm not doing photos i will come home from the gym shower do some work um i'm not in my new studio yet um because we haven't set it up so i'm still working from home but soon hopefully i won't be working from home because it drives me fucking bonkers um but minx is here she's just doing a few things that um around the house that we needed to do oh my god stop burping this morning um so yeah i'm just gonna smash out some emails get some work done and then i might go to the beach for an hour because it's gonna be 34 degrees today and that is a lot this is my cappuccino that i literally make every single day guys oh my god it is the best so it's got one espresso pod in there and then it's got a scoop of instant coffee and then it's got half soy milk and half almond milk and some chalky on top so yummy Goodbye, my little baby Roo. I love you so much. Oh my god. You are so gorgeous. Yeah. Little baby Wooby. My little baby Wooby Woo. Oh my fucking god. I'm sorry, but my dog is the cutest thing in the world. Uh, like and comment if you agree. It's not a bad little lunch break spot, guys. Beach soon as though I live literally five minutes from the beach, so I'm just gonna unpack my stuff, put my kinis on, and get a little tan, go for a swim. I can't wait! Oh my god, how good is living this close to the beach? Here for this, here for this. It is so hot, guys. Oh my god, I'm sorry if you can hear. I'm sorry if you can hear the aircon, it is literally like 35 degrees in Perth. I just finished up at the beach, it was such a nice little lunch break. Um, I'm trying to like do more things to relax because at the moment my life is fucking crazy since launching Venom and I need to learn to chill. So I took an hour or two off work to go to the beach and relax. Um, I put a bunch of of, well, I put an ask box on my Instagram last night um, to end this vlog with a little Q&A and I'm going to go through about 10 questions for you and answer some of your questions because you guys always ask me to do Q&A so I thought why not? Okay, so first question from Serene. Um, are you and Jake moving to the Gold Coast slash Brisbane next year? Well, Jake really wants to. Jake really wants to move to the Gold Coast. Um, I would absolutely love to move to the Gold Coast. Like, I really would. Probably only for a short amount of time. Um, you never know. Uh, with my job, I can. I kind of have the flexibility to move anywhere. But I fucking love Perth so much, guys. Born and bred. I just love it here. It's so relaxing. It's so beautiful. I have the most amazing friends here. But I also have amazing friends on the Gold Coast. So you never know what happens. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? There is no yes or no to that question just yet. Okay, so next question is from Amy Lee. How do you edit your Instagram photos? Uh, M Davies presets, baby. Nah, um, every single photo on my Instagram is edited with my presets. I will leave the link in the description, but my favorite pack that I have right now that I've been using in my latest images is called the All Rounder Pack. Um, I've been actually getting really creative with my Instagram. Um, my Instagram handle is just here on the screen if you would like to give me a follow if you are not already. But yeah, I use all of MD's presets. At the moment, I've been getting really creative with my feed and using the All Rounder Pack, usually number six. And then I will adjust the colors a little bit um, depending on what type of photo it is um, because Every photo is different, all the lighting is different, um, and yeah, that's what I use. And I will leave a little sneaky discount code for my YouTube fam in the description box as well. Oh my god, next question is really good from Susie Davies. Love your last name, hun. Um, do you think success comes from luck or working so damn hard and perseverance? Fucking oath, perseverance and hard work. I'm telling you, I did not like. <laughs> I did not get this life from 
slacking off and not working hard like let me tell you I have fucking hustled for the last 10 years of my life and anyone that wants to say I haven't can literally kiss my ass because I have literally worked myself to the bone and let me tell you it is worth it I love my job I love what I do but I have fucking hustled for this like I seriously have and some people got lucky some people yeah maybe but not me let me tell you obviously um, a good mindset helps you succeed and you know all of that shit manifesting absolutely but if you're not working hard at the same time it ain't gonna happen that's my experience and that's what's happened to me personally next question from Maddie Canning how, how have you maintained a healthy relationship with Jake love you I love you too um I think like communication is everything in a relationship if you can't speak to each other about things then yeah it's not gonna work let me tell you like me and Jake obviously have our ups and downs we always have every relationship um, go through struggles every relationship every relationship they have arguments and if you don't then I don't know whether that's the best thing ever but um, yeah we go through ups and downs but we're at a really good place um, we've obviously been dating for nearly five years so we have really learned over time what pisses each other off and what we need to do to grow our relationship um, for both of us you know like I know what affects Jake I know how he is as a person and he is the same with me so um, over time you sort of build that um, it doesn't happen straight away and yeah like we have had many many multiple multiple fights um, we've never broken up but yeah we've had a lot of fights a lot of arguments but the one thing that Jake and I have which is amazing is like communication like we yeah we might scream at each other and we might yell at each other but we'll always sort it out instead of holding grudges running away from it ignoring each other ignoring each other's texts like all that crap we don't do that and I feel like that is why we get over things really quickly and that's how you grow that's just my opinion on it next question from Danica sugar-free brownie recipe oh my god guys I have so many brownie recipes in my ebook so you guys should get that but my favorite brownie recipes recipe would be vegan protein cacao powder almond milk peanut butter a sweetener so either honey rice malt syrup or stevia banana and mashed pumpkin weird flex but it's good and then if you really want to get creative add some frozen raspberries in there and they'll melt through it oh shador next question oh my god I love this from Scarlett did you choose to put the second E in venom for EMM -M? because I love it how did you think of it if so um I've always wanted to call my clothing brand venom like literally my whole life and yes that's exactly why I put it with EM in there it's because it kind of resembles my name so yeah and the 1.0 is actually for my mama so uh, my mum passed away on the 10th and I felt like I wanted to add those numbers into my brand label she's actually everywhere throughout my brand she is um, her initials are on the care label on of every single person piece um, so it's really special to me but yeah that is exactly why I put the EM in there so good thinking Scarlett little Queenie next question from Alice what is your lifelong goal what do you want to do for the rest of your life my lifelong goal is to just live a happy healthy life that is obviously number one I think um, us as people we really take our health for granted and um, I've learned that treating your body with care and being kind to yourself mentally and physically is really, really important and is the only way to maintain a healthy life. But another thing that is a goal for me is to, for Venom to just do really well and take off because it is my fucking baby. I've wanted to have my own clothing label my whole life and it just, yeah, it, I, I just want it to do really well and for it to be successful and um, for it to take off because I know that my mum would have wanted that as well. So yeah, they, they are my life goal. Next question from Sandra. Have you ever dealt with mental illness? If so, what did you do to change it? Um, yeah, well, when my mum passed, I was honestly like, I was not in a good place. I was extremely depressed, um, could barely get myself out of bed, really, really struggled. It was so hard. Um, yeah, honestly, like I would wake up every day and just think if I wasn't here, I would be with my mum and mentally that was really hard to battle. Um, 
oh my god I literally get sad talking about um, but yeah it was really hard to pull myself out of that one thing one thing that I'll literally take to my grave is my friends like they like seriously helped me out of that and I will always tell them that they like literally saved my life so um, yeah I saw a psych and everything but for me like talking to my friends was just that's what helped me that really really did help me so yeah I did go through that I'm not a psychologist so I'm not gonna sit here and talk about mental Ill illness but that was my experience with it and it was extremely hard to pull myself out of that but um, I did eventually and you guys as well are the reason another reason that I got out of that because you guys gave me the drive and motivation to continue doing life and that I will remember that for the rest of my life and that's why I'm so appreciative of my friends and my followers um, I don't have much family but I have amazing followers and I have amazing friends and that is just it's all I need it's all I need guys, the last question I'm gonna talk about is talk about venom that was a question not so much question but here for it venom 1.0 is my clothing label I haven't really spoke about it on my YouTube but it is my baby I have been working on it for the last almost three years I have put my fucking heart and soul into this brand my health my financial situation my relationship everything has gone into this brand it has consumed my life 100% worth it um, my mum before she passed away pretty much said to me that this is what she wants me to do and that she really wants me to continue doing this and that gave me the drive and motivation to 100% do it obviously I did a degree in fashion business so I always wanted to do it but uh, yeah she's the reason and you guys are the reason I made it happen but yeah it is my baby I'll leave the link in the description to my website um, every piece is designed by mwah, um, it was all 100% my money. Um, I just, everything, every idea in that brand is mine. I put so much fucking hard work into it and I can't wait to release the next episode for you guys. It is fucking epic. And just seeing all of my friends, all of you guys in my pieces is just giving me life. I'm so happy. I literally could cry. I'm so happy you guys should have seen me crying at my launch event. Oh my God, when I was doing a speech. I was a mess. It was so good though. Um, yeah, I'm so happy it's finally launched and it's out there and I can just keep working on it and bringing you fucking cool epic shit because that is what I'm about and that is what I've been put on this fucking earth to do. Anyway, guys, I'm going to finish up these questions here. I hope you enjoyed this little day in the life vlog. Let me know what you want me to do more of because these are fun. Um... I know you love my what I eat in a day, so if you want me to do another one of those, I can. If you want me to do like a vegan what I eat in a day, I can do that. If you want me to do like a certain type of, if you want me to do a mukbang like, or a video with Jake, just let me know in the comments. And please remember to subscribe because it really helps me. Um, and like I said, I know a lot of you watch my videos but don't subscribe. So please, 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 please remember to subscribe. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video.